A common question that I get is why can't I use NMOS devices in the pull-up network? It would be easier to build a NAND gate if I could. This is the design of an AND gate that people have in mind. There are two N-type devices connected in series in the pull-up network and two P-type devices connected in parallel in the pull-down network. If both inputs are high, then the two N-type devices are both turned on and there's a conducting path from 5 volts to the output uh, producing a 1. Otherwise, if either of the inputs are low, then the pull-up network is off and there's a conducting path to ground through the pull-down network. Unfortunately, this doesn't work, or more accurately, doesn't work well, because of a phenomenon called a threshold voltage drop. NMOS devices can't fully pull the output to the high supply voltage, so you don't want to use them in the pull-up network, and similarly, PMOS devices can't fully pull the output down to ground, so you don't want to use them in the pull-down network. This example illustrates the threshold voltage drop problem. The circuit on the left is an inverter with an NMOS device in the pull-down network and a PMOS device in the pull-up network. The waveform at the bottom is connected to the output of the inverter, and we can see when the input is low, the output pulls all the way up to 5 volts. If we flip the input around, we see proper inverter operation when the input is high, the output pulls all the way down to ground. The circuit on the right is kind of a backwards inverter with a PMOS device in the pull-down network and an NMOS device in the pull-up network. When the input is low, the PMOS device is turned on and the output is low, and when the input is high, the NMOS device turns on and the output is high. The problem, though, is that the uh, inputs and outputs don't pull all the way up to the supply voltage or to ground. So if we flip the uh, input, we see that the um, output voltage hovers around near the middle as compared to the inverter where the output voltage goes all the way to 5 volts and all the way down to ground. This can cause all kinds of problems, including unreliable operation and increased power dissipation. So in short, only use NMOS devices in the pull-down network and PMOS devices in the pull-up network.